Remember when Biden said my daughter is so hot that I could date her? Yeah. Oh, no, it was Trump that said that. Uh. Who would you rather have president, uh, Joe Biden or Vladimir Putin? Oh, Putin. Definitely. And, and, wh and why is that? Um, I believe he's been given a tough... Uh, since, since World War II, uh, Russia's been the bad guy, when in actuality the Nazis left Germany and they ended up going to the Ukraine, coming in here. George Bush was, was actually, <laughs> thank you, George Bush was actually a Nazi. Interviews with Trump supporters are some of the best evidence we have of the systemic failures present in our country, as well as the unwillingness of our elected officials to do anything to correct them. What would you ask the president? Um, if I helped out the enemy during a time of war that's called treason, I could be put to death. The border is open. We got over six million people coming across, 300,000 people a month. And we don't know who these people are. We got like 70,000 Chinese people. We got people that we're at war with right now or possible enemies coming over. So now these sleeper, cell, sleeper cells, if we go to war with them, he's allowing the enemy to come behind our defenses what the hell are you doing? You should be put up for treason and put to death. Welcoming conspiracy theorists with open arms and adopting their beliefs then opens the floodgates for all types of conspiracies to run rampant and become normalized in the discourse, just like what's happening now with the manufactured hysteria over the southern border. Why won't you close the border? Why do you allow drugs to continue to pour across? Why did you stop construction of the, the one thing that could have actually helped stem the tide of illegal immigration and fentanyl across our border? We had secure borders. He was stopping the fentanyl and human trafficking. Um, gosh, I could just go it on. It seemed like the on. fentanyl problem pre existed Joe Biden, right? Well, yeah, but um, with everything he was doing to secure the border, if we could have finished closing the border off, we it would have substantially dropped even more. And now it's all open and, you know, we have so much death every day. No, the border is not open and never has been open. Not only has the Biden administration continued Trump's immigration policy at the southern border, but every president since at least 1992 has continued to further militarize and fortify the southern border by investing heavily in surveillance technology, walls and fences, and specialized training for tens of thousands of new agents. And that's not even scratching the surface of the separation of families, the glorified prisons. Thousands of these migrants and immigrants spend time detained in, and the constant threat of abuse from law enforcement. But since that's exactly what the anti-immigrant crowd is advocating for, they should be praising Biden for continuing the cruelty. But that's not what Trumpers have been told to believe. I think people are very afraid of what Joe Biden has let the, the southern border become. The border is entirely open. Over 9 million people have entered the country during the three years that Biden has been president, and probably up to 75 percent of those have remained in the United States. It's a level of illegal migration into our country that's unsustainable and puts a huge financial burden on our country. And everybody feels it because that's, that's 7 million more people who need housing. And, and that's a tight market. And money's tight right now, so it's, it affects everybody. If Donald Trump loses in November, what does that mean for the country? I really feel like if Donald Trump loses, we're going to be run by more globalists that don't have America's best interests at heart. And I think that's what a lot of Trump supporters are scared of. And that's why a lot of people came out tonight and supported him. So. That's what, I, that's what I think most Americans, not just me, but most Americans are scared of. I think he's wrecking, trying to wreck the country, giving it away. To whom? Any other country besides ours. And, and you mean giving support for Ukraine and Israel? No, I'm in, I'm in support for Israel. I just mean he, he, he just don't take care of the American people. He's worried about the illegal people more than the American people. We have veterans that he's not taken care of, and yet... They come across and they get money and hotel and food and phones, and he doesn't take care of us, the people. They, they're come, and they're illegal instead of his people. What would you say to President Biden were he to come up to us right now? What would you say to him? Uh, you failed us. 